Okay, guys, I just want to show you this email that I've received from someone um, because it just demonstrates how you can get into the industry, how you can provide services with you know your electrical understanding and now your hopefully BMS understanding. And this is how you kind of start getting work um, and tagging on BMS controls work onto your existing electrical work. So I just want to run you through this email that will give you a taste of, of how you go about it. So we spoke on, and this was an email from someone um, who, to be fair, I'm not really sure what they're asking, so I need to read it properly, but um, yeah, let's go for it. We spoke on the phone a few months ago. I already fit, maintain a proprietary BMS PLC solution called Heat Save by Tensor PLC in schools, etc., for boiler rooms and radiator control. It is their own software and web cloud server. Plus, plus this person maintains the mechanical aspects of the building plant room. I am a qualified electrician and gas heating engineer. There we go, qualified electrician, and you can still maintain this mechanical stuff even if you're not gas safe. Like obviously, if you have to, have to do anything with gas, then you contract out a, a gas engineer, but controls trust me you don't need to get involved with with heating or gas you know uh, being a this is why i this is why i help electricians because they're the most they're the best suited people to get into controls like you don't need gas you don't need heating so just there we go qualified electrician the main issue I have is I'm not trained or proficient in programming aspect of Niagara, Trend or KNX. I work with the HMIs and troubleshooting panels, but not the PC software itself. So look, this trend, high barrier to entry to, to use trend systems to be able to, um, program them but there are ways of doing it but that's beyond the scope of this video niagara so this is a programming software that you can go and do the training like five day training you can get on and do this niagara training so there's nothing stopping you there same with knx you can do the knx training five days nothing stopping you there so the only barrier to entry is trend and there are ways around that but like with these two other things you you can do the training so you can know how to be proficient in the programming uh i have a few customers that need new panels. So again, this is what happens when you when you start offering services and support in this industry, like he's talking about um, schools, for example, like they end up needing upgrades because they're just, they're not working properly. They've not been maintained for ages and, you know, clients need new panels. I did wonder about using Xenio. So that's the KNX system that I use. Would you program and set some controllers up for me? I should be able to modify, maintain an existing setup with some guidance, but do not have time to go on courses. Okay. So there we go. Like this, this is a guy who's leaving money on the table. He's, and it's fair enough, but maybe he's not, he doesn't want to do this sort of work, but I'm just showing you with a whole understanding start to finish, you know, you're not leaving money on the table. You can do the whole thing and it's far more enjoyable when you can take on the whole project delivery because it's variety. It's exciting. Um, so yeah, he wants me to do the, the programming for him on these controllers. Yeah. Cause he hasn't got time to do it. I also have a few existing sites that have Niagara. So again, you can do the Niagara training. Um, with controllers using so okay so these are these are really good controllers this um i'm not going to look at his album uh not there we go uh the osma or isma like these the, the, so this is like trend but you can buy these controllers from anywhere and then you use Niagara to program them. So th th these are becoming extremely common in BMS because they're not closed off. You know, you don't have to be a trend engineer to, to access them. You just, yeah, you can buy these controllers from anywhere pretty much. And if you've got Niagara training, you can program them. So these are becoming very common. They're affordable. They're very reliable. Lots of people saying good things about these controllers. So I also have a few existing sites that have Niagara type controllers. Uh, this Osma, Isma, whatever it is. They are not monitored, etc., but need to be. So there's no external monitoring happening. So he can't monitor these sites and fault find and provide support remotely. He's got to go to site at the moment. And that's, that's not good. You know, you want to set up remote monitoring. Things need to be designed in the right way so you can monitor things correctly. Um, so they need to do that. 
It's difficult to set up to, yeah, we, here we go. <laughs> it's difficult to set up to generate emails, etc. when a boiler has gone down or the safety circuit is tripped, etc. for remote access. Can you look at existing setups and modify them possibly remotely? I'm familiar with networking, etc., and get comm set up, just not manufacturer specific trained and no licensed software. There we go. I mean, it's just coming back to, he needs, if, if he wants to do things properly, full project delivery, um, you know, set up things properly, more money, not leaving money on the table. Niagara, go and go and li- learn Niagara and get a license so you can do all of this, and and potentially go on ISMA training if they do it. But probably not. They're pretty basic controllers. You can just buy them and then spend a day just tinkering with them, and then you have a good enough understanding. What would you choose to go with if only going with one manufacturer? Niagara. I see you using Xenia, but this isn't this. But isn't it hard to configure VT? Uh, and displays, etc., for boiler room control, as it's not really for this application. There are good parts of the product I installed, but I want to look at the broader picture and go outside limitations. Please advise if you can help what kit you prefer, and ideally some rough costs to be factored in. To be honest, I cannot afford the full course course, and may not necessarily be for me, as I'm quite experienced. I've been working in heating control. Okay. But yeah, hopefully that top bit just gives you guys a really good understanding of the industry, how you can, how you can actually start getting business, what you should be doing to not leave money on the table. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just do that and give you some insight.